Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this week's Whip and Chat. Um, I'm still working on Arya Stark, uh, but I've actually finished her face uh, already now, early in the video. I will just pop in a picture of her face because, yeah, I'm really proud. I'm, I love how the face turned out, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, and I've had a lot of time this weekend to diamond paint. So uh, I finished her face and I moved on to a new section. And I'm hoping to actually finish uh, this section also this weekend. So I'm really getting close to finish. Um, and I would really like to finish within October. So we'll see if I can manage that. Okay, I'm gonna choose the color and I hope that I will not make any mistakes today. Uh, I usually pour the wrong drills into the wrong bin or I place the drills on the wrong symbol. And I guess maybe I'm getting tired or I'm just getting like, I wanna finish. So, um, I'm going to choose, let's see, I'm not very good at placing this in focus, but I'm going to choose this symbol. I call this the feather. To me, it's like the end of an arrow and it's color 453. said in my other whip and shed the colors the drills are getting few so I hope to god it's gonna be enough to finish I think the black is enough because I have like I have two bags and I know there's a lot of black still to put down but I hope that it's mostly black now so the other colors won't run out. So yeah. So it's Sunday. The um, what date is it? It's the 29th of September today. Uh, but this video won't go up until Thursday, the 3rd of October. And I've had a good week. It's been quite long because I worked like six days in a row. And that was because I was supposed to be off Monday at the beginning of the week. But I switched days so I could be off Friday because uh, me, my mom, and my daughter was going to the book fair in Gothenburg. It's a yearly event, and it's the only book fair we have in Sweden. It's huge, and it's full of visitors. It's thousands and thousands of people coming there. It's, a f it's a from Thursday to Sunday. So, but we only went Friday and you get to meet all the authors and other people too, of course. Um, yeah, and you know, you have these, what do you call it, seminars, they talk about different subjects and about their books. And well, there is also like uh, foods and health and politics and there's everything for everyone. 
so we went like we took the train to Gothenburg at eight o'clock they opened up at nine and we took the train home at seven in the evening so it was a long day very interesting so um and usually we go sundays because all the seminars are included in the entrance um, ticket uh, but all the other days you have to you know pay to go listen to the long seminars which are like in close big rooms um, but because there were quite a few youtubers which my daughter uh, looks up to and likes and who has released books we decided to go Friday um, and then me and my mom we didn't go listen to any seminars because that's quite expensive uh, but my daughter was allowed to go to one with the youtubers and the reason, the main person w she wanted to listen to actually didn't show up. He canceled, so she was very disappointed. I mean, she'd been looking forward to this for quite a while since we found out that he was coming. And I mean, he, he's huge within YouTube in Sweden. And, you know, she's been saving up and all this. So. so I actually wrote them an email saying, you know, I know you're not supposed to get your money back, but I mean, she has really <laughs> been looking forward to to actually meet this guy and you know get a picture with him and get a signed book and listen to to his story and it didn't show up and she paid like 60 dollars for just listen to it that one show and they actu actually replied that they understood her disappointment and that it was him canceling and not the the book fair uh, so the one answering to my mail couldn't you know promise anything but after the book fair was finished she was the person was gonna you know talk to her boss about this and give me an answer so well yeah we'll see what happens I hope she gets some kind of, uh, I don't know, it doesn't have to be a refund. Maybe she could, you know, get a free entrance next year or something. Something, something to show, you know. I mean, she's a kid. She's like 12 years. So if it was me, yeah, I would be disappointed. But, you know, I haven't saved my pocket money to go see someone you know yeah so but other than that it was uh, you know just being there breathing breathing that at atmosphere is just so awesome and you get you do get starstruck <laughs> every now and then, you know. I I really look up to authors. They're amazing too. Yeah, yeah, not just creating stories, of course, because a lot of the stories are true. So that's not a made-up story, but a lot of them do. That's the kind of books I usually listen to or read are the fiction stories, of course. And that's just amazing. And same with the the ones who write kids' stories. Yeah, so I think I'm 
done. I know there's another one there. I know I'm missing symbols. Um, but I've, I see some X's and some W's I missed. So I'm gonna fill that in. Yeah, but I want I want to show you some of my pictures. So here's my daughter with one of her absolute favorite um, authors. She writes like uh, creepy stories for uh, a bit older kids like in her age 12 years so my daughter my daughter she loves her books so she uh, finally got to meet her she has all the other years you know asked is she coming is she coming and i was like no she's not coming but she did it this year so my daughter was so happy about that and yeah here she is. She she was tired, you know, <laughs> but she was the one shopping books and stuff, you know. So I think she had a good time, even if it's it's uh, it's hard work. And here's one of the big YouTubers. This girl talks about bullying and stuff. She has had a real hard time growing up, and she's only a teenager still. Um, but she had released a book about her growing up and how to treat each other so that's important and here is also i mean she loves this girl she's also a youtuber and she's like just vlogging about her life with her l little son and this girl she's always positive and happy so she has made a book about those things not you know thinking negative but you know how to find energy and how to you know pull yourself up and stuff yeah so that was really nice um and here's um two of my uh, well he is a swedish author and one of my favorites i love his story and Anna Holtz, she's a Norwegian author, um, also huge, at least here in north of Europe. Uh, but she talked about her book and yeah, uh, that's what's so cool about the book fair is that, you know, you were like, oh, that sounds interesting. You know, I, I got to read that book, so I'm going to check her books out. So that was a great day and I'm already looking forward to next year. And every year I say I have to come here all four days. I need to get a ticket for all the days, but it's quite expensive. So I, I'm not sure how to do. Yeah. So, but now after that, you know, you want to go home and you want to start reading. So. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be better at reading and not just listening to books. So let's see. I saw oops, a W around here and that's uh, six, four, eight. There. So, yeah. Um. And I saw some X's, and that's 3072. So at the beginning of the week, um, my daughter, she had two big tests in law and order in Sweden. And we have, uh, she had a test in physics as well. No, not physics. It's called PE, I think, you know, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, running and walking and doing gymnastics and all that stuff. And they have tests 
to about health and you know how to dress according to the weather and all this and in Sweden we have this law called Adamansrätten it's a public uh, oh what you call it anyway um, it means that everyone is allowed to use and be in the nature as long as we don't disturb people and as long as we don't destroy stuff and break stuff so you're allowed to camp on a private property as long as you know you don't disturb the people living there or you know disturb their work or you know you don't ruin anything and you don't leave any traces there and if you know if you feel like mm, i don't know if it's okay you know you're allowed to go to to them to the house you know and ask is it okay if i like camp this night over there in the woods so yeah they had a test about that as well and that means that i need to read up on it as well you know to help my daughter prep for the test and, you know and ask her questions about it so i know that she can answer, you know, some of the questions. So I was exhausted. It felt like I was working and going to school <laughs> at the same time. You know. <clears throat> yeah. Now I'm going to do... Have I done the A's? No. There's not a lot of those. Yeah, I think I have. I just, I think I missed some. So we'll go, let's fill in those as well. Yeah, so I haven't had that much time or energy to diamond paint after work, but then I had, you know, my weekend off. I had no plans Saturday, Sunday, so I've had time. Mm -hmm. What should I do? I shall do that curly thing. I'm switching to this round thing, and it's um, 762. Yeah, and yesterday, um, Rachel Ray had another live show. And I weren't active at all. Um, I was like lurking and working as I usually do. Because I wanted to get some of this done. So that's the good thing about YouTube. You can listen and watch a little bit while you do your thing. And yeah, I know. You know, I want to get to know some of them a lot better and, you know, be a part of the community. And, but then, you know, you have to be kind of active on those live shows. So I have to get better at that. sometimes the chat is just going off so fast it's hard to follow what everyone's talking about i'm amazed with the, the people who has the live show you know they craft and they you know try to keep up with the chat that's amazing really how they're able to pull it off um, yeah, so 
um oh yes i got my glitter bomb from rachel um and i wanted to i'm going to unbox it here on camera uh, but I can see I have a timer because my camera only records like 30 minutes at a time and I have four minutes left. So when I refresh, restart my camera, um, I will do the unboxing. I have two. It's not unboxing. It's like on bagging. Because um, I ordered some, I have a project for my watercoloring. And it includes uh, stamping. Uh, I wanted to do some swatches. And um, Steve Mitchell uh, from Mind of Watercolors uh, showed a real cool um, way of doing that, which is like a stamp you use. Um, so I ordered the stamp from the States. It's coming. But to be able to make a stamp, you need some ink, I guess. And one of those uh, plastic transparent thingies you put your stamp on. So that's what I got. And I thought I could unpack it here. I have never done a stamp in my life. So this is all new to me. Oops. And the wax I got from one of the diamond paintings, I can't remember which one, is horrible. I keep filling up my pan and I'm so, you know, I guess someone is thinking, so why aren't, don't you just switch to another wax? Well, I'm like, you know, you have to use everything have to use it up I noticed I press down like this on the <laughs> table so I get mark from marks from the um, diamonds or the drills on my fingers crazy I don't know why I'm doing that I think once you've put down the black drills the the diamond painting goes so much faster. I don't know why. I guess it's just a feeling I, I have. I don't know where I want it. I want it there. And I want to switch up to a four placer and start trying that out. So I need to get one of those. I don't think I have one from a kid. Uh, where was I? There. Yes. Okay. So should I? I should. I think just finish the symbol I thought about it so I don't forget or do something silly with these drills here um, but uh, those watercolor projects yes um, I want a special brand of brushes badly. They're called Silver Brush Black Velvet. I 
I watched quite a few people use these brushes and they are soft. I like that feeling. And I've been trying to get a hold of these brushes, not only in rounds, but in flat and oval as well. And it's not possible to get them from Amazon and I'm going crazy. You can get a three set, but I mean, I want, I want the others as well. And I saw that uh, Dick Blick actually has international shipping and they had quite good prices. So I placed an order and waited for their response to how much it was going to cost to get it shipped over to Sweden. And they're like, because of some uh, import law, because it there are squirrel hair in the brushes. And then it goes under some fish and animal import law. I don't know. Something like that. So they're not allowed to ship these brushes to Sweden. I'm very, very sad to find out about this. Because I really would like those brushes. At the same time, I totally understand now, you know, why it's impossible for me to get a hold of those brushes. It just made, you know, make sense. I understand. And I guess it's a good law because those brushes aren't animal friendly since it's squirrel hair in it. I don't know how actually they get the squirrel hair. I guess maybe I should find out before I want to buy them. I don't know. But it made sense now, even though I'm very, very disappointed. So they can't sell me, sell any of the brushes to me. So now I don't know. Is there another place? I've seen them on eBay. And usually that's shipped differently. You kind of can get around things sometimes. Oh, come on. Um, but I think a brush there is like ugh, $35 or something. It's kind of mm, pricey. And then it's like shipping and stuff on that. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's not worth it. But I don't know which other brand or brush would, you know, has the same feeling to it. So I, maybe I just need to let go. Maybe in the future. They will change the law or maybe I will have get a friend from the States or something who can, you know, ship it to me. I don't know. But I'm sad about that. I don't have many left here. Um, uh, 
Yeah, so I'm going to do a kid up video uh, any day now. Uh, I've decided to kid up my heaven and earth uh, diamond painting. The bookshelf, the treasure hunt bookshelf. Uh, expanded color edition by Amy Stewart. And I bought the pattern from heaven and earth designs. And yeah, I bought the drills and the blank canvas from Cooper Co Cooperation Company. Yeah, I paid a heck of a load of money for that. So, and it's a huge project. And I wasn't supposed to dig into those. However, since it's such a big one, and I really want to get started with that. I think that I'm actually going to do some kind of, um, what do you call that? Some kind of, uh, oh, yeah, where you have like two projects, projects going. So maybe I should diamond paint. every second day on one of the kits and then have a smaller easier kit the other days I don't know you call that something I just I just lost the words right now uh, not a cycle swap uh, rotation yes uh, a rotation So that's what I'm actually thinking because I want to, I, I really want to get started on that one. I mean, that, that was the, I think the first diamond painting thing I saw when I saw that I was like, you know, I have to do that painting in diamond painting, not cross stitching because I just thought all that sparkling fits perfect to the theme. So I need to, I need to get started on that. And I think a lot of people would like to, to come along and see the process. Yes, those, that's all. So we only have the fours and the J's and the, whatever you call those ones. What color is this? find these everywhere. Oh. Let's do some quick unboxings here. I'm just doing like this when I'm filling, when I'm pouring those back in. I usually don't do it on top of the diamond painting because usually some of the drills fall on the side and then they get stuck in the glue. And some coffee. It's actually not evening today. Mm. At this moment I I usually have made my other whipping sheds like seven in the evening, but I decided to um, do a morning video. Yes. Oh, and I order one more of those cover minders, but from Rachel this time. So oh, what shall we do first? There's my glitter bomb. And here's the one from uh, one of my, the, like, one of the very few hobby stores we have in Sweden. Oh, it's squashed. Time to uh, explore Panduro. Okay, what do they have in here? Candy. 
Oh, mm. minute. Okay. So, this is what I got. It says in English, pigment ink for fine detail. And it said in this description that mm, it's perfect for using watercolors. Yeah. So, this that's why I chose this one. And this is that glass plate you put the stamp on, I guess. And then you do like this. And I haven't received my stamp yet, but this is the kit. I'm it's gonna be exciting to do that. And so the stamp is like where you can write down the pigment and the, the color of the watercolor, you know, and then you do a swatch. Uh, yeah, so um, that's going to be real nice. So I don't know how I'm going to open this without showing any of the addresses. I will hold it like this. Ooh, this is going to be so exciting. It actually says candy and chocolate and card on the back. Actually, these envelopes are the kind you get your heaven and earth designs material kits in as well but the those are huge of course so when i saw you know the envelope i was like what is that from heaven and earth like oh no i get it glitter bomb yes <clears throat> Ooh. this is and this is irish candy i think mm. So what? Salted caramel? Oh my god. And toffee she knows. Does she know? I love those. Uh taste. Oh. What's in there? Oh. Some stickers. I love candy. Who doesn't? Oh. Look at that. The sweet hearts. They're nice. I could do something with that, I think. I could put them in my... in some uh, mixed media. Oh, this feels like chocolate, for sure. quite a few of calories in this. Mm. The evening is saved. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I think it's very sweet, you know. Uh, it's because of the Patreon stuff. Oh, what's this? No way. A black sheep? a magnet Jesus it's cute look at that and you have the Irish um, that green oh yeah I don't know the name for that my dad always draw the, those uh, he said that it had three leaves on it like three hard shapes and that was him me and my older sister and the black sheep yeah I think that kind of describes me in my younger days thank you I love it lovely day for a Guinness <laughs> it's one of those coasters it's awesome I love beer I love Guinness I do thank you Rachel it's perfect it's perfect and a card oh and the horses on ireland it's such a beautiful country
Yes. Oh my God. I'm going to read this. Linda, I hope one day you can come and visit this beautiful area. I hope also that if you put this card in your home, that it brings you peace and calm. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to get all teared up. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'm going to put it here on my wall to my left. I have some things which are special to me. And all the horses. Yeah, I think horses is like horses and sheep aren't that kind of a big thing um, in Ireland, I think. So this is another card. More horses. Yes, they're so nice. I need to do something with these. Oh, and that's Irish. Go. I don't know what that means. Oh, look. Wow. God, I need to do something with these. I do. Some... Yes, I have to figure something out. Oh, and there's a lot of glitter stars everywhere. <laughs> It's awesome. So it's a more of a private message. So she says, uh, thank you for the support. And of course, I, I love Rachel and her channel. And she is... Um, it's just some people, you know, you kind of like right away. Um, I just like her her way of being calm and positive even when there is something negative she puts it in a very good way um, I love her unboxings and love that she takes her time and Yeah, it's hard to explain. And I want to support her because that's the kind of sh YouTube I like. And her retreat next year. Oh, I'm seriously need to think about that. But it's that plane cost. It costs quite a bit. Look at all the... Look! They're beautiful. I need to put this in. I'm going to do one of those mixed media pages and I'm going to uh, glue some of the stars and horses down for sure. I need to do some spacey stuff with this. Thank you, Rachel. I love it. I love it, really. It's, um, it's so new to me to um, get something so nice and thoughtful and it i think it was like a perfect perfect match for me and ireland has a very very special place in my heart because my father who is not alive unfortunately had loved ireland very 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 much and I'm also crazy about the Titanic story and I know it was built in Ireland so yes I think I got all the stars so though I don't get um, stuck on my diamond painting I love it Rachel I'm gonna enjoy all of these I can't put this one in my mouth right now because then I can't talk I love it thank you thank you thank you it was like a great gift. And I, oh, I should be using this for my, I know it's not a Guinness, but it's coffee. So I can have it there. So I have a piece of Rachel with me right away. And you know, these, the magnet, I think I couldn't, could I, could I do it into, make it into a cover minder? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, 
awesome. Cool. Um, yes. I'm going to eat that chocolate when I lay in bed later and read my book, maybe. Or when I drink another cup of coffee. Chocolate and coffee is nice. It's awesome. Thank you very much. And I'm so um, happy to be able to, to support you, uh, Rachel. So I think it's important that... Uh, we who watch YouTube supports the people we appreciate. Um, I know myself is not easy to do these uh, YouTube things and keep it going. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I want to show you some of my artsy stuff. Uh, this Monday I received three of my one of my favorite uh, watercolor artists books he has released books and I did not know this um, but I will uh, I will reset the camera again because oh obviously another 25 minutes has gone by and I will show you uh, some of the books and some of the sketching I've been doing so hang on Yes, um, so Stephen Cronin has taught me through his YouTube channel a lot of things when it comes to watercolor and as it says watercolor painting made simple so paint without a fuss and it is so true when it comes to his videos and how he paints and he's using the Ron Ranson hake method so this is a hake a water brush uh, and those are um, those pig yeah I, I, I can put down uh, what's what the hair is here um, and this is the the medium size of the hake so he's using the bigger size so it's a bigger one but I found it a bit it was too too big for me to handle anyway and I I started to paint uh, this type of landscapes and it was so much fun and I watched so many of his videos and I bought his painting and he means a lot to me so what I didn't know was that the other week he made a video saying that volume 3 was released and I was like what <laughs> he has books and I got them all one two and three and for his uh, patreons <laughs> I know that he's he um, puts their names in the books that's the highest tier so that's that's very sweet of him to show them you know it's it's because of them he can do this you know um i'm not a patreon but you know i support his channel by doing this and watching his video you can't support them all financially but it's so cool you know he teaches you here step by step and you know you can always go to youtube and watch uh i'm not sure if all these paintings are youtube videos but you know he's using the same technique and in the beginning it looks almost horrible but in the end when he's done it they're amazing pictures and he shows what these are all the brushes he uses can you see that i'm sorry and you know the colors He's using Cotman, so he's not like throwing money on expensive uh, Daniel Smith or M. Graham watercolors or schmink, uh, whatever they're called. And this is his palette. It looks horrible, but, you know, it works. So he puts out his colors around like this and he just mix 
them together, right? So here he shows you how to paint sudden park step by step. And if you read the book and you watch his videos, you know, you get a great base. It's so cool. So yeah, uh, I'm not going to show you the books because, you know, um, you have to get it. You, I got them. I, I got them from um, Amazon. Um, UK, I guess, because that's where he's from, and um, how much did I pay for one? Um, oh, I can't remember. Can it be like one hundred and no twelve dollars? Oh, I don't know. I have to check in on I will link I will put a link to them so here he shows you know reflections in the water how to do that there are so many different ways to paint so and how to you know to get the shine in in focus you know how you that's what you usually feel when you look at his picture so y you get such a great contrast from you know, the light from the sky reflecting often in water. Um, and a lot of people ask, you know, how do you get that, you know, uh, powerful light? And he shows that. And yeah, um, the brushes aren't too expensive and neither is the, you know, watercolor paint and you don't have to buy the most expensive 100% uh, cotton uh, watercolor paper it's the best to do if you want your colors to work proper but you know if you're not just going to train and you know practice i would suggest get some cheaper uh, big you know papers and you, you cut them down so I was very pleased to get these. I'm going to read this from start to finish and get inspired. I have had more projects. Yep. Let's continue with the water watercolor. And because a lot of people <coughs> like... Uh, coloring there it's been you know coming into the diamond painting community and uh, Steve Mitchell in the mind of uh, watercolor showed an awesome way if you want to paint and you want to color so this is Johanna Basford's uh, enchanted uh, forest I think it's called in English and I've just made the first picture here. I haven't colored anything else because uh, I have too many color books and too little time. Anyway, he suggested, you know, get one of your uh, color books, which you like, copy out a page. It's for your own use. You're not gonna sell it or you're not gonna, you know, um, put it out. Of course, that, you know, you don't do that. And so I will use the picture. He copied this picture from the book. It's here. So he printed it out on normal copy paper. And then he used his light pad, which most of us have. And he takes a watercolor paper and, you know, copy the picture. And so he copied the owl and the... thing it's sitting on. And all of a sudden, you have a watercolor 
coloring page. How cool isn't that? And the thing is that you're going to train, I'm going to train how to do flat washes and then you can charge and you can glaze and you can, yeah, whatever. So I drew, took some pages of some, I want to do the owl and follow the instructions from YouTube and see how I do. And then I want to try some other animals and a bird, of course, a black bird. I love those birds. So if you want to try something different, you can also do this, you know, if you want to uh, use markers or copics, you know, uh, and it bleeds through, you can do the same thing. You can take a copy of the, of the picture and then trace uh, the picture using your light pad onto a Copic paper. You know, there is papers which are better with markers and then you can color it. So I, a great idea. Thank you, Steve. Um, I have, I would say hundreds of color books. I don't, but I have many. So. It was not nice. And Johanna Bassford, you know, she's like one of the best. So do that. Try that. I'm going to try it out as soon as I get time. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I got um, these pen and ink drawing workbooks. And I've been working on that one. I've ordered the other books as well. But uh, they haven't reached me yet. So... I started training with these. I've showed you in my earlier book. And uh, I tried these. And here you're, you're going to... Here it, it was spacing, you know, the space between the, the lines. And here is the size that you're doing shorter lines. It was difficult. And I had pain in my arm the next day because I was so tense doing this. But I think it got better in the end. And I continued the training in this book. So I haven't gotten far. I do a little bit every now and then. So I think, yeah, it's okay. Um, but I'm starting to, you know, think where and when am I going to use the, these techniques when I'm going to draw? Because I don't know. I'm not experienced in this, so I don't know. Oh, yes, and then as impatient as I am, I wanted to try to sketch. So um, the first Inktober prompt uh, on the 1st of October is a ring. And I want to draw a ring. So I tried here. And well, yes. Uh, it's not a masterpiece it's a ring so that's cool and then I wanted to try to do these mountains uh, which um, you find here it's the technique one and you know I did I mean you can see it's mountains but when it came to the shading I was like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't look good. So I stopped. So I don't know. I don't know how to continue, but I will continue. And I know, I think I mentioned that I want, you know, my dream is to draw birds. That's what I really, really want to draw. Or, you know, mix the watercolor and ink to make landscapes. But I don't know why I'm so fascinated by birds, but I think they are beautiful animals. And this is an awesome book when it comes to drawing birds. It's lots of steps. But I've when I try this, I've followed this bird, you know, followed the steps on this picture, trying to make this bird. 
so I haven't had you know a picture of a bird like another picture I, I haven't come that far yet but if you want to try this book is like really good it's called the lost guide to drawing birds maybe uh, the lost guide has more books let's see on the back maybe they have other books it doesn't say because if it did then I would know that these are like awesome There's so, I mean, this is a good book. I highly recommend it. So, <clears throat> yes, I tried to draw. So this is uh, some of the birds I did. There's more puffy one. And then I tried to just do some, a head study. It's very difficult. Uh, but I mean, they look like birds. So I would like to do this on a watercolor paper and then try to paint them. So, and I want to try to, you know, sorry, um, to have a picture of a bird and try to draw it, sketch it, I think. So that was kind of fun. Um, I wanted to do a bird every day, but, you know, I wish I had more time, but I don't. And I have lots of lots of diamond paintings I want to do as well, and that takes time as well. So I will have to find some balance because I don't want to stress out about it. So, yeah, um, that's that. Um... I love it. It's so cute. Look at that. It's so cute. I think maybe I could have this as my avatar on YouTube. <laughs> but I'm not a black sheep anymore. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love it. What's the next color? It's number four. Four, it's the Q, and it's 318. No, I'm, oh, Jesus. Number four is 37.56. It's one of my favorite colors because it's like a minty, beautiful color. And I've been having a long whipping chat. Next week I'm only working three days. So I have a plan of doing quite a few unboxing videos. Yes. And oh, my mom received... Um, her diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, uh, the replacement. She had received one which there were some spots where there were no glue. So um, they sent her a new kit and that was very nice of them. That's so very sweet of them, really. Um, so thank you, Diamond Art Club, for the great customer service. Um, yeah. And she has another uh, kit she's doing that's a hua can. And she's been asking me how or when she is supposed to row her, you know, uh, thing on it. So it sounds that maybe she has some popping drills.
but I hope not. I do have some poppings here as well, but I don't think it has to do with the, the drills. I think it's the glue and some, you know, uh, bubbles in it or creases somehow or something like that. I don't, I really don't think it's uh, drills. These are not the best drills, but they're better than a lot of companies. I'm quite sure of that. So I don't know uh, if, if I hang this up as it is, I think uh, the drills are just gonna fall down. Some of them anyway, or fall off, you know. Uh, so I don't know if I'm just gonna pack it up once it's done and just, you know, be happy that uh, I had a great time doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's too big, I can't, I don't, don't think I have a wall for it so I don't think my husband wants to drill holes in the wall to put this thing up so but if I find a frame that fits I think I'm gonna try to frame it and then put it in the attic or something. Attic. I think it's called attic. Yeah. Anywho. I have uh, some kids coming from Diamond Art Club. It's uh, Graham Gerkens. Beautiful, beautiful paintings. Um. And I'm trying, you know, to save money for when they're releasing The Dark Knight. Uh, what's, uh, I can't remember. It's one of uh, Mandy Manzano's uh, Game of Thrones pictures of the Red, Red Lady. But I'm getting, I want to get the Lotus and maybe Sneaky Cat. So I have to choose. I, I can't afford them all. So, um, but the lotus is nice because there's a lot of black, and it was the you know the dark shining. No, what do you call it? The self. Yeah, words. Speaking another language isn't always easy. It has those special drills, which light in the dark drills. Yeah. Well, I think I've, oh, there's a little star. <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm gonna have stars all over our house. It's going to shine. It's nice. Anyway, uh, I think this will be all for this uh, weekly update. Um, if you have any questions or anything else you want to share or want me to try out or show you, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.